so Michael Menser. He's been all over my social media, all over my brain and my thinking process on the specific idea of doing one set to failure is all you need for optimal growth. Now, I get that. I get where he's coming from it. But I just feel like in actuality, while training, I feel like it's gonna be a really hard barrier to break. So we're just gonna go test it and do it. Let's go. The ideal situation is to be able to stimulate all of the major muscles of the body with the least amount of exercise possible, which is one set. Just one set and we give it our all. We're gonna go to failure. I'm gonna try to aim for going as heavy as I can. But I still want to get at least eight reps in. But if I can do 20 reps, I'm going to go for 20 reps. If I can only do four, I'm going to only do four. I'm going to go for as heavy. I mean, it's one set. We're going to try to get everything we can in in one set. I'm going to go till I drop. Gauging what weight you need to hit can be tricky. I just went for 200 pounds, roughly what I weighed. Being that it's a pull-up motion, I thought maybe 200 pounds would be heavy enough. I think I did more than what I wanted. But nonetheless, it was a good exercise. Ah. All right, well, probably could have gone heavier. That was it. It's very odd going from one machine to another after only one set. We're gonna go as heavy as we can. See what I got. Excuse me, sir, you guys just can't have like a video camera out. Oh, okay. Phones are cool, but we can't have extra cameras. Ah, damn. So oddly enough, for the first time ever, I was told I couldn't film with my camera and I had to only use a phone. I've seen people, it happened to people before, but I've been doing it for like months now and I thought it wasn't gonna be anything I had to worry about. But as you can see here, it is. All right, just pause it, get on the, get on the phone. Nonetheless, the workout continues. Pull-ups were really tough to do after we've already been hitting back for our sets to failure, but we had to hit it too. Then we jumped over to these guys. These are nice to hit that mid to lower back, contracting those, uh, those lower lats. Then we hit some biceps, give our back a little break. Biceps to failure are no joke. They make you want to cry. All right, it's kind of cool because every exercise we're doing, it was kind of like a PR. You really got to get yourself in that mindset to go to all the way to failure. Anyways, let's talk more games. So as the workout routine continued, I was astonished by how the pump kind of compounded as I went from exercise to exercise. I was really able to give that exercise my complete all and then move on to another one and give it my complete all just because I'm not using the same muscles in the same way. We're gonna give our back a break and go to biceps. All right, remember, one set. I'm gonna go in as much as I can, one set. Last exercise. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really digging this workout. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. I wish I would've gone lighter on that one. Fine. I've seen Michael Menzer talk about how the pump isn't a great signal of growth and all that, but I feel like this approach to the whole routine actually gave me one of the best pumps I've ever had. Lift after lift, the pump was just compounding. Every set felt like a fresh set. I could give it my all. It, once I did the first one where I did my set and moved on to the next exercise, the rest, felt pretty easy. Like, it's kind of just a mental trigger you have to go through of leaving something behind with only doing one set. And if you really, really go for it, it honestly feels easy to leave it and just move on. Um, needless to say, we finished lots of exercises 
fairly quickly and I got an insane pump. Right now I'm currently cutting. So if you look into Michael Menser's mentality about the whole thing, I think it would be a benefit to do this while cutting as well. So another pro of this was we went through like a lot of exercises very quickly, use all my energy there and jump to the cardio while still finishing within an hour. I feel like I got everything done and I did it efficiently doing it this way. So all in all, I am very shocked and surprised at how well this routine worked for me. Now, I've only done it once. I'm gonna keep doing it and give you guys an update on how I feel about it, but it really, I really liked it. I'm gonna keep doing it. It might just be that new newbie mentality. It might just be me fanboying Michael Menzer, but I'm gonna keep trying it. I'll keep you guys updated. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and obviously you follow me on YouTube. You'll be seeing updates of my progress doing this. I'm gonna give it about two weeks of trying this out. I really like it. It's efficient use of time. I feel like I get a great workout, so I'm gonna keep doing it. If you like anything I'm doing here, make sure to follow me. Let me know in the comments. Let's get it.